Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Crap Show, where today I'm pretty certain, pretty certain we're going to make some good progress <laughs> in a subjective manner. Uh, sorry about the last two episodes, if you guys um expecting more like gameplay and commentary when I kind of got really off track with the commentary but um yeah today Pokemon Sword revisited um I believe goes into the double digits I think this is uh, episode 10 and we're supposed to go to the stadium I actually had to review the footage to find out where I was supposed to go exactly. And, uh, yeah, we're supposed to go to the stadium now. So, will Danjo remember all the random voices he gave to characters? Or will he fudge most of them up? Will the singing clerk come back once again? Is he technically a clerk? Or is he just a front desk dude? Because they are all dressed the same. Do I need to talk to Hob? Or what am I, what is, I think I talked to this guy. Challenger Creepers wasn't it. We must cast the gym challenges where the uniforms were all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge. So you know what that means. That's right, I need you to get changed as well. Get all up in this shit. Pass the first minute? Yeah, we're past the first minute, cool. Besides, you can say shit on TV nowadays, so oh my goodness, the 609. Mm. I can draw an imaginary line between the two tips. Through the hole, hole that's wonderful. You look sharp as a pen and that 609 there that really is a number for you. Cause I imagine you as the middle part <laughs> Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge <laughs> Just let me know when this gets annoying and I might stop <laughs> There's just a Pikachu in the crowd Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally, the Galar region... Something something. Yes, the gym challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather the agent badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. Come out of the shadows, you ninja bastards. Like, are, are they not here yet? What's going on? Like, oh my goodness, they're even doing it in slow motion in unison. Play the death metal, play the death metal. The fighting farmer, he's the grass type expert, Milo. The raging wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire, here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu. The Galar karate prodigy, nobody's better with fighting types than B. The master of a fantastic theater is the charming fairy type user Opal. The hard rock crusher, please welcome the rock type master Gordy. And last but not least, the tamer of dragons, it's Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own. Unless you own Pokemon Shield, then one of these is different. Or two. One or two of these might be different. 
I think it's two, right? There's an ice one and a ghost one or something. I think so. I'm not entirely sure. Well, she's she looks good. She's she looks great. That's that's great. That's mm, it's good. <laughs> oh my goodness! I like walked out there and I looked around and everything was like ah, and then I blacked out. It was great. <laughs> oh yeah, he's Uncle Kine. Uncle Kine standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone. It's really no worse for it, but. I could barely contain myself. My oh, heart's racing. Oh man. Uh um Um You've made it at last, Hop. And you too, Creebles. So you're the two trainers, our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, what's this? I see you already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the whole Galar region is in for some excitement. <laughs> oh, Freudian slip, my bad. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I must attend to. So I must be on my way. I read that backwards. Need to attend to. The best of luck to both of you. One of them is clearly winning in the fashion department. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You've both only just started out as on your path as trainers. Yes, that was weird. Weird. Weird shit. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Let's do it, Krabbles. You know the gym challenges are set all of You've got to visit the gyms in, right? The first is Turfield. In order to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Route 3. It's Route 3, yeah. It's Route 3. <laughs> uh, which one of these routes is free? No, Route 3. You blind, deaf bugger. Alright, uh, gym challenge is event, which is Baron Trans travels around the globe, you couldn't gym better name, gym in a bed. Yeah, that's what they were just saying. Uh, uh, yeah. I know. I'm not as dense as a doorstop. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, like, being uh, in a dense. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Are those, like, the old school? Those are like the old school, like, uh, Pokemon gargoyles. They had at the, um... Like, Indigo Plateau, and like, actually some of the gyms. Now I think about it in the original ones. Um... Is that the same one? I'm just gonna look this up real quick. And yes, I will share an image of the thing. Um, I think they were in the original. Gargoyle statue. I mean, I don't know how else to describe them. Those are the ones. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. I 
didn't know how else to describe these aside from the gargoyle statues, like in gyms and like at the Indigo Plateau and shit. Um, it's probably a tiny pixel cam. It is a, yeah, like a Game Boy, like about 200 pixels square, about 250 pixels square, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And I will save this as... Pokemon Gargoyle Statue, yeah. This <laughs> is Stature. Statue, it's a Stature. That is really tiny. Um, those things. Here, let's get a better comparison angle. There we go. Yeah, I mean, the arms are down instead of up. Of course, those could be like wings or something. But yeah, it's like on the on like a pedestal as well, with like like around the entrance. It, it's it's the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Just you know, Game Boy graphics compared to Switch graphics. <laughs> so. That's uh, that's that's pretty cool. I don't I don't think I uh, I don't think I noticed that one before. Pretty neat. I like it. All right, let's uh, let's continue. Let us continue. Uh, pass through Route Three and beyond in order to reach Sherfield. Sounds good to me. Oh. Challenger Creebles, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. I'm not one of the singing ones, so don't ask about it, please. Thank you. A gift, such a wonderful thing from the chairman. Such a wonderful man. Uh, excuse me, this gift is access to the flying taxis. Then allow me to, in a word, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited, like Chairman Rose's boudoir. Except you... Uh, you probably haven't been there. Flying Taxi Service, one of the World Train Corps of Night. Can have you zipping across the Galar region in your desired destination? No time at all. Just open up in the X menu and go to town on the map and choose where you want to go. It's all right with you. I'll read a segment from the Flying Taxi's user manual. Mm -hmm. Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go to. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield, isn't that right, Creebles? I'm traveling to a new place. It's about to get there in two legs, don't you think? As if you could just fly everywhere from the get-go, like including places you haven't been, that wouldn't really be fair, would it? And don't even try, because you can't. See? So yeah, I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. But. But. Since I've already been to the Isle of Armor, I can fast travel there. And, because it's like a different kind of sort of region, they have different uh, to-do things. Objectives. That's the one. Uh, but I still don't have the bike, but I can fly. And I really can't wait till I get my bike. Is that... No, even though it's kind of me shaped. Eh, eh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Jeez, totally fine. Hey, you all. I've been waiting like a whole lot of five minutes. 
That's like a really long time for me. Let's have a battle with you and me. Well, am I slipping into Jason Statham? <laughs> Let's have a battle with you and me. Get a bit of trying here. Uh... But why? Seriously? This is the moment when you play long, act all pumped up for battle. If you don't ask me why we should bond a train, you never make it through the gym challenge. Oh, that's my way of saying no? Oh, no, I just wanted to know what his motivation was. Like, I was trying to pump him up by being like, Why do we train? To kick ass! And why do we kick ass? Because we love the taste! Because, I mean, because we train! And why do we love the taste of ass? I, I mean, love to train? Because we frequently shit in each other's mouths, I mean... Well, I mean, we also do that. Anyway, um... <laughs> That's the real meaning of the 609. The O is just a giant donut-shaped turd. Um... Was well, there anything else I need to grab before I leave town? I don't think so. I have plenty of Pokeballs. I have tons. How do I have 30... Oh, I bought those on the Isle of Armor with Watts. That's right. I should remember that. I should definitely remember that. Sort by type, yeah, definitely. Um... 31 Pokedex, also with Wands, I believe. Man, I already have so much stuff. Oh yeah, I guess I went around just like grabbing all kinds of crap on the Isle of Armor. Yeah. We got Tail Slap, which I've never taught to anybody. Swift, which is okay. I mean, it's, 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 you know, Swift, it's fine. Uh, payback, grass not money water, throw chop is really good. Sandshrew can land throw chop? Hmm. I might actually do that. Stealth Rock, Drill Run, that's a really good. Cool. Sandshrew, you can't learn Drill Run. Maybe we use a Sand Slash. Grass Knot's okay. Muddy Water is really good, but. Oh, Star You, come on, you can't learn it. Hmm. I need stones, right? Vulpix and Staryu? I think I need an ice stone and a water stone, I want to say. I think I need watts to get those. 57,000. Oh, because I went to the digging paw. Right. And he was like, oh, you want some watts? Here you go. Okay, so I can go ahead and get plenty of uh, evolutionary stones. It's kind of random, but I'll show you guys later. I think you have to beat the first gym first. Because you need access to the nursery on in the wild area. And I'm pretty sure you need to beat the first gym before you can do that. Anyway, um, my dudes are fine. Raboots at 16, which is okay. I guess it depends what level they're going to be at. Uh, at the very least, Star You should probably get more attention. Um, I should probably give him an item, too. No? Oh. Boost the attack stat. Oh, no, no, I have Sandshrew, not Cubone. I have always gotten them confused. Um, I guess I don't have anything that would actually be beneficial for Staryu, huh? 
Stamp rock do again? Rain dance we move it? Okay. If, 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 mm, no. Okay, what does he have? Water gun, confuse ray, harden. Put water gun up front. Uh, confuse ray, that's, that's okay. Yeah, I don't want any of my guys getting to level 20 though. So anybody that's at level 18, I'm just gonna know. Opex has ice shard. Oh yeah, it's quick attack uh, ice, right? Tail whip, powder snow. Okay. It's not bad. Sanctuary is level 19. So Staryu, Raboot, and Vulpix. Everybody else is just gonna sit in the bleachers for a bit. And you know what? I'm just gonna put out Vulpix first because I have a feeling level 12 is gonna be fine. You're gonna give me the same spiel, aren't you? Yeah. Alright. I need to be up for it. Gonna stay keener than everyone else if we wanna steal a spotlight from our rivals. And you're my rival, so. Yeah. Don't go enjoying that spotlight now. <laughs> oh, yeah, what I was saying about his hair, though. It's like the little. You kinda see the crown with like the tufts of hair around it. Keep that, mate. A chance to see if you want the gym challenge. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, he's level 11. Oh. Oh, you got Snow Warning. Warning, live without warning. I'm gonna use Bound of Snow. Because I'm pretty sure I'm faster than you. It's not bad. Oh, and you frozen. And you're gonna take damage from the hell. I don't know why I did that to shield the other one. Personal. Eat my snow, you furry bitch. Fuzzy? Fluffy. Oh, man, you're quite cool like that. You're pretty tough when you get serious. Getting buffered by the hell. Buffeted beans getting hit very slightly. I'm gonna use a potion on my sheet just because I'm that kind of dumb man. Even though it's frozen, I don't want to lose. How how do you disappear when I do that kind of shit? I don't understand. Yeah, it's kind of strange. You could just be standing off like slightly to the side. frame a little bit. Grookey? What kind of stupid name is Grookey? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, keep current Pokemon because ice is also super effective on grass. I don't care if you're level 14. I'm just gonna use Ice Shard and then probably disable it. Also, I haven't seen Ice Shard yet, so it's pretty cool. Typical. Should've known you missed it. Type chipips. Type chipips. Type matchups. That's the word. Oh yeah, I gave him the Rocky Helmet. Hell yeah. Oh, you want to taunt me into attacking you? That's probably a bad idea, bro. Just, just, you know, just guessing. Snowy! Snowy, you killed a monkey! The bad Snowy! Minimize? Who's learning Minimize? <gasps> Star you learns Minimize? Dude, yeah, get rid of Harden. Dude, I did not know that. That's pretty, that's pretty great. It's pretty great. 
Pokemon Trainer Hop is about to send out a bird. Um, no, I'm just gonna let Vulpix sweep your whole team. Back to your corner, you got all wrong, mate. This will make my victory all the sweeter. I mean, you've probably got what, like two Pokemon? Oh, you have a full team of six? Alright, whatever. They're probably all like level two or three. Oh, they're all almost level 20. Okay, alright. I'm calling hacks. Oh, hacks on your dumbass. Ice shard. Shard. Mmm. Mmm. Eat my ice. <laughs> Get it? Eat my ice? <laughs> this guy's an ice hole. <laughs> Just a hole for me to pour all my ice down. <laughs> it's pretty great. This guy really sucks ice. And, uh, Pokemon battles. Not right in good training. Looks like I'm better to keep my guard up. Yeah, that was more of a Jason Statham guard up. It's only the older stuff and stuff. Just what I'll expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my lead cards. That's it. It's how good I think you did in that last battle. Yeah. You snarky son of a bitch. Put the lead card in your album. Our gym challenge stars right now. From here in Motor Step. Although the first gym leader will have to challenge is a town way far off from me. Still, you better believe I'm gonna keep <coughs> winning in my way to the championship match. <laughs> well, I'm nothing like Rick. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, fuck, <laughs> fuck me, no, fuck me. <laughs> Hello, Glami, your next champion from the sleepy town of Postwick. It's me, Hop. Hop. It's me, Hop. Yeah. It's funny in the anime it's called Go, which not the same character, but kind of, sort of, basically. If your precious Pokemon gets injured, don't forget to heal him up with a potion. And you need antidotes to fix up to fix up to fix up poison. Remember to stock up on items you have to pick up bleh, visit Pokemon Centers so often. You probably visit bleh, visit Pokemon Centers all the time. You probably think I'm halfway barfing on you because I've gone bleh, like several times. Well I'm not. It's a serious condition. Oh hey, look at that, grass type. Uh should I grab you? Should I grab you? I'm gonna grab me. Gossifer, Gossifler, Gossifler. Well, guess what, Gossifler? I know what you evolve into, and that's a pretty decent grass type. So I'm gonna put you in a quick ball. Mm, noise. Flowering Pokemon, height 1.4 feet. That looked about right. Weight 5 pounds, number battle 1. It anchors itself in the ground with a single leg, then basks in the sun. After absorbing enough sunlight, its petals spread as blooms brilliantly yeah that sounds kind of dirty um send to a box no actually I'll add to my party um we'll get rid of anybody that's almost level 20 so mindfu uh place the item in the bag yeah sure I don't want to fight too many wild Pokemon out here all. So I'm just gonna fight this chick instead. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know why I'm excited and win a battle. Oh, you were in the opening ceremony? Oh my god. Can I be like your fan? <laughs> be great. 
Oh, you also have a Vulpix? Oh, your Vulpix isn't as cool as mine. Yeah, mine's from Alola. Yours is kind of just like normal and shit. And also yours would be super effective on mine. So let's go ahead and switch to Star You. My girl, what else you got? What else you got? Come on. Oh, nothing? Okay. I lost, but I'm still excited. Here, take a thousand pokey dollars and please don't make fun of my tiny tie. Another Gishafer. What the fuck is that thing? Alright, ran away, whatever. Three heal balls. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, it's another Vulpix. Do I want one? Did I catch a regular one? I caught a regular one, didn't I? I did. Hang on. But I got Raboot, so... And you need a fire... Wait, do I have a Firestone? Is that one of the stones I picked up? Did I, did I do that? I did. I have one. I could have a Ninetales right freaking now. Mmm... Or, if I catch an Eevee, I could evolve it into a Flareon, which, why would I do that? It seems kind of dumb. I mean, hell, I could get rid of Brabu right now. I mean, he's good, but it's not like he has his hidden ability or anything. And freaking Bullpix is really good. Ninetales is really good, man. We're not, like, really good. Uh, Kribbles. Flash Fire is not the best. Um... What's the other one? I think it can have flame body, if I'm not mistaken. Is that real? Drought. Oh, but that's hidden ability. So that's really rare. Drought would be really good. That would be really, really good. Because um, it creates harsh uh, sunlight. Like as soon as uh, Vulpix or Ninetales comes out. However, later on, you can get an ability patch. I think that's what they're called, an ability patch. What is it? Dianite Ore. Yeah, from Dianite Ore. So I could potentially save up for that i mean they're expensive they're super expensive but it's a way to get the hidden ability of a pokemon that you already have so i mean it would be better on raboot so he'd be a hidden ability raboot be a libero or whatever which is a fantastic ability um so we kind of be a waste to put on volpex especially since later down the road we're gonna have access to better fire type pokemon but for now, because I really don't like, I can't remember the Japanese name for Raboot, but him and Ace Burn, 
or um now I can't remember the American name for uh the evolution after Rabu. Um what whatever his name is. The third one. I'm not a fan. Show. Again, take this charcoal, give it to Vulpix, and I'm just gonna work on whoops. I'm just gonna work on Vulpix. Like two Vulpixes, one lowland, one regular. And once I get that actually do I really want Gosso Floor? No, right? No, I'd rather have a fighting type. I'll, I'll keep Mind Food in the party. I mean, I'm not going to use him, but... Oh, I have an Alolan Sancher, too. I completely forgot. Um... Marowak and Raichu are level 30. Okay. How about that? I will put him in instead. Sancher, I believe, also evolves with an Ice Stone, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, Sancher evolves with a, an Ice Stone, yep. And he is ice and steel. And steel type is oh so useful in this game. Um, so yeah, that that would be that would be handy. That'd be very handy. All right, I think that's a, I think that's a better plan. Uh, and then Mindfu and Rabu will just sit on the sidelines for a bit, uh, as well as Gossip Floor because I mean it's. He turns into Eldegoss, which is... I mean, they're okay. Like, I like the design, but, like, statistically and move-wise and all that stuff, they're not... they're really not that good. I mean, if... for now, if I knew I needed a Grass-type soon, I, I would be like, yep, you're coming in my party right now. But no. No, not 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 quite yet. I was just I was just checking real quick. I I, I don't remember if any of these guys learn any decent ice type move or steel type moves. Because if they do. You just take out Sancho for a bit, but yeah, um, let's go back and check Ninetales real quick. I want to check and see if it's better to leave him as Vulpix for a little bit, or if it matters. Um, shit. Oh, it matters. Apparently Ninetales doesn't learn anything. So if you want Ninetales to have different moves, you gotta learn them as Vulpix. And Vulpix learns Flamethrower at 32. So that is when I will evolve him, because Flamethrower is awesome. And I'm not sure when I'm going to get it otherwise. Yep. That sounds like a good move. And does he have anything like Ember? Right now he does have Ember. Okay, good. We'll just uh, get him beefy. Get him nice and... You know what? I'm just going to catch one more. Alright. All or nothing. Can we get a hidden ability Vulpix? Also, this one's level 12.
Wow. Oh, it's probably because the level difference. Um, it's higher level than me. I'll just try Rapid Spin. That'll be fine. Uh, one more time. Alright. Yeah. Oh no, you're gonna disable my Rapid Spin! Um, yeah, a great ball. Sure. Goodness gracious. <laughs> great balls of Vulpix. I mean, the chance that it'll have a hidden ability is like next to nothing, but. It's like 2% or something? 3%? I don't know. It's incredibly rare. So. Yeah, it's Flash Fire. And this one doesn't even have Ember. When does Fulpix learn another Fire Time move? And they're both girls. good enough, I guess. I could just... See, the other one is good physical attack. Literally, the only physical attack that you would teach it would be... Uh, the only physical attack it has is quick attack. The only one you might teach it would be... Zen headbutt. Foul play. Body slam. But most of those are going to be special attacks. So, it really doesn't matter. Just not the worst at his speed, the best at his attack. And it's kinda not great. It shows a regular Pokeball, didn't he? No, the Quick Ball was on the flower, right? I mean, better defense seems like a good deal, because I don't think... No, it's regular defense is like one of its worst stats. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good deal. And it'll have a new fire type move at level 16, so... That's alright. Alright. Go ahead and do that. Um, neat. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Um, let's 
It's just gonna suck for a little bit. I mean, he's got quick attack though. This one other fight. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. Schoolgirl Hannah. Crush her dreams. Pancham. Pancham. Come on, Pancham. Don't you know better than to be a dark and fighting type when you grow up. It can probably hit pretty hard, so I'm gonna switch to... Ah, uh, man, I don't care. Star you, I guess. Sure. Circle throw. Jeez, dude. Oh, what? That's some bull shards. Sandshrew, get out of here, bud. No. Now that I think about it, a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon have those, like, same kind of eye style that, like, Sandshrew and Vulpix have. I like that old style better. Stop dragging out my other Pokemon. You jerk. I'm losing a bunch of my turns just because you want to find a Ruffler. I don't want them to fight you because you're using fighting type moves. Maybe some of my guys are weak to fighting type moves. It's not very cool. Pancham, no! Damn, Sancho. Roll out. Bam, bam, bam. Roll out. Uh, defense curl. Get rid of that crap, yeah. What? I lost my Pokemon. Wasn't savvy enough? Or my Pokemon savvy wasn't enough? I wasn't savvy enough when it comes to Pokemon? I don't know. What did she mean? What did she mean? What did she mean? Uh, Vulpix. Other Vulpix. You're going out front. Alright. I mean, there's a couple more Vulpixes right there. I could just try to catch a couple, and we'll see if any of them are in the belly. That would be pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, I like it. Should probably get started with a potion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give everybody a potion, why not? Uh, but yeah, we're out of time, guys. We've been out of time for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna get going. But, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you for stopping by the Fires and Crafts show once again. I've been your host, Danjo McCraps, and um, yeah, if you guys want to support the show more directly, we have uh, 
channel memberships now. It's pretty uh it's a pretty cool feature and um it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot to us. It's kind of something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Like instead of having like a Patreon, because it's kind of the same thing basically. Where it's, in case you didn't know, it's like a monthly subscription kind of thing, and um, yeah, it's just it'd be really good for the channel. So cool when well, we got that Volpix. Um, so yeah, as I continue finishing doing the sign-off, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, we'll catch you next time, where I might catch some more Vulpix. Or I might just battle this kid. And then, um... Damn it. Special defense is the worst one? No. It's a boy, though. It's a boy. <laughs> yes. Um, which I guess doesn't matter right now. Right? Right? Yeah, it doesn't matter, right? No. No. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it would if I wanted to breed them. But I don't because I can't check certain things. They have the EVs. I forgot you have to like unlock that later. And... The only thing... That I might want to do that for would be to get a shiny. But getting a shiny without like using the Masuda method, which in case you didn't know is breeding like the same Pokemon or a Pokemon with a ditto from like two different regions, basically. And I don't mean like regional variants. Like, the snow Vulpix and, like, the ice Vulpix, the regular Vulpix. I mean, like, a Vulpix from this region and a Vulpix that was, like, traded. It came from, like, a Japanese copy of the game or a German copy of the game or, you know, something like that. Blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't even have to be that, per se. Just somebody that playing the game in a different language. So... Um, a long time ago I played through this game in German for that very reason because I wanted to have a, for a couple of foreign dittos and I didn't want to like trade aimlessly until I got a foreign ditto um, so yeah I just beat the game in German and then um, traded it over so but yeah, have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. And uh, until next time, you know, take care. And that's all. See you around.